Seldinger technique is a medical procedure to obtain safe access to blood vessels and other hollow organs of the human body. This technique was invented by Dr. Seldinger in 1953. In this technique, a sharp hollow needle, usually called an introducer needle, is used to puncture the blood vessel. Then, a guide wire is inserted through this needle. After removing the introducer needle, a dilator may or may not be used to enlarge the opening. In this video, we have shown the placement of sheath. Dilator is used in combination to sheath. After dilation, various kinds of catheters can be inserted into the blood vessel over the guide wire. This technique is internationally known as Seldinger technique. Dialysis is when we replace the function of the kidneys using special equipment to clean the blood. There are two types of dialysis. Hemodialysis that happens outside the body and peritoneal dialysis which happens inside the body. Hemodialysis is when your blood is passed through an artificial kidney which is called a dialyzer. There are three ways in which we can access the blood. You will need a minor operation to create a fistula. It is made by joining an artery to a nearby vein under your skin to make a bigger blood vessel. The second way to access the blood is by creating a graft. If your blood vessels are not suitable for a fistula, a graft may be used. This involves joining an artery and a nearby vein with a small soft tube made of synthetic material. The graft is entirely beneath your skin. You will need a minor operation to create a graft. The third type of access called a catheter is inserted into a large vein in your neck or chest. The ends of the tubes sit on your skin outside the body. This type of access is generally used when you need dialysis for a short period of time. Catheters can be used as temporary or permanent access when a fistula or a graft cannot be placed. Newtech Medical Devices manufactures medical disposables for safe access of blood during the hemodialysis process. There are six main products. Hemodialysis catheter kit, femoral catheter, guide wire, introducer needle, transducer protector and fistula needles. We also provide individual hemodialysis catheters as per the requirement. This is a hemodialysis catheter kit. In our standard hemodialysis catheter kit, we provide a scalpel blade, a hollow syringe, an introducer needle, two dilators, one hemodialysis catheter, one stainless steel or nitinol based guide wire, catheter placement bandage, heparin caps to close the open lumens of the catheter, suture needle with thread and a medical cloth sheet which is highly absorbent. This is an introducer needle. During the Seldinger technique, the first and the foremost step is to puncture the vessel site. This is done with the help of an introducer needle. This is the length, this is the hub and this is the tip of the introducer needle. It is very sharp and specially designed to penetrate the blood vessel easily. The cannula's diameter and length varies and the hub of the needle also varies. 
we provide various types of introducer needles. This is a pediatric needle. Then we have a round hub introducer needle, a square hub introducer needle and a Y-shaped introducer needle. An extra port gives you the benefit to introduce saline or other medications into the body. A better practitioner inserts this needle into the artery maintaining the correct 30 to 40 degree angle. Once the needle is in place, a dialysis guide wire is inserted into it. This is a hollow syringe. The speciality of this syringe is the hollow path available for inserting the guide wire. Using this hollow syringe, we can easily insert the guide wire into the introducer needle without any blood loss. Newtech Medical is the only company in India that manufactures guide wires. We can manufacture J-tip or straight tip guide wires, coated and uncoated. In uncoated guide wire, we provide centimeter marking at a distance of 10 centimeters. Its core can be made up of stainless steel or nitinol. Using the centimeter marking at every 10 centimeters, the doctor can understand what portion of the guide wire is inserted into the body. The diameter of the guide wire can vary from 0.018 inches to 0.038 inches. This is a dialysis guide wire with J-tip. We can also provide the same in straight tip and also in single and double distal form. Single distal guide wire is stiff at one end and flexible at the other, while a double distal is flexible at both the ends. Though we offer coated and uncoated guide wires, an uncoated guide wire is usually used during the hemodialysis process. Our guide wires are compatible with all the introducer needles available in the market. The guide wire can be made up of stainless steel 304 or nitinol. Both these materials are body friendly materials. Once the guide wire is inserted through the introducer needle, the role of introducer needle finishes and the nephrologist removes the introducer needle. Our guide wires meet all international standards. They are smooth, flexible, kink resistive and biocompatible. After removing the introducer needle, a small incision is made with the help of a scalpel blade so that a dilator could be inserted over the guide wire to dilate the opening. This is a double lumen catheter. It is called double lumen because it has two ends, one distal end and one proximal end. Its tip is very soft. This catheter is available in various lengths and diameters. This is a single lumen femoral catheter. This is the blue cap to close the open end. This is the pinching clamp. This catheter is available in different lengths 13 cm, 15 cm, 16 cm and 20 cm with outer diameter of 7 French. This is a double lumen catheter. There are two lumens, distal end and the proximal end. Sizes available are marked on the clamps. This is the hub. These are the rotatable suture wings. This is the total length of the catheter which gets inserted into the body. This is the tip of the catheter 
These are the side holes connected to the proximal end. Double lumen catheter is available in various diameters and lengths. This is a triple lumen catheter. These two catheters are almost the same except this third port which is called a medial lumen which is available in a triple lumen catheter. Next comes the triple lumen catheter with straight extensions. The triple lumen catheters are available in 12 French in various lengths. All our catheters are radio opaque. Once the dilation process is complete, the dilator is removed and a hemodialysis catheter is slided over the dialysis guide wire and inserted into the artery. Once the catheter is in place, the guide wire is removed. It is flushed through the extensions and all the openings are tightly closed with heparin caps to avoid infection. At the end, it is stitched with the skin to avoid displacement. And finally, a catheter bandage is applied to avoid movement. This is a transducer protector. It has a filter of 0 0.02 microns and it is compatible with all the blood lines. For creating a fistula, the doctor creates a small incision in your skin. Then he will perform a small surgery to connect an artery with a vein. This larger vessel is called a fistula. To begin the session, the dialysis nurse inserts two needles into the AV fistula or graft. Once the circuit is set up, the blood starts flowing slowly out of the body and into the machine called a dialyzer. Inside the dialyzer, the blood will encounter filtering fibers and an absorbent cleaning solution called dialysate. The cleaned blood emerges from the dialyzer and flows back into the body through the second needle at the access site. When the hemodialysis session is complete, the needles are removed and the patient can go home. Hemodialysis can also be done with the help of fistula needles. This is a pair of fistula needles. These are the wings of the fistula. This is the needle tip with back eye cut. This is the pinching clamp. This is the tube through which the blood flows. Tube cap is also provided in the kit. Generally, fistula is available in two sizes. 16 gauge and 17 gauge in fixed and rotatable wings.